from visitmysmokies.com. It's the fun cast, and I'm your Smoky Mouth meteorologist, Paul Pote. As always, I've got my week of weather for the Smokies coming up in just a couple of moments. But first, breaking news. It is true. An old favorite has a new name. You see that? Yeah, you've seen that since the 1950s in the area. But Gatlinburg Sky Park is the new name of what had been Gatlinburg Sky Lift Park. Even though Sky Lift is no longer in the name, uh, it'll still be there. It's not going anywhere, except up. The Sky Lift transports visitors from the thick of things right in the heart of downtown Gatlinburg, up 1,800 feet above sea level to the top of Crockett Mountain. And that's where the popular Gatlinburg Sky Bridge is located. Now, there's been so much building and, and uh, branding going on, Settle in here. The Sky Bridge is the longest pedestrian cable bridge in all of North America, 700 feet across. And you can walk at your own pace. Now, behind the Sky Bridge is the Sky Trail. And the Sky Trail is a scenic walkway that connects each end of the bridge. So you can take a hike while enjoying some new views. And then you can climb to the top of Tulip Tower. That's a 70-foot steel tower in back of the ravine. Uh, two rope bridges, and four elevated viewing platforms. The Sky Deck Amphitheater, now this is the Sky Deck, the amphitheater offers great views, outdoor seating, tiered waterfall, a fire pit, and the Sky Center building. All right, it's all in the sky. And that's on the Sky Deck at the top of the mountain. Sky Park's rebranding process is going to include new development at the entertainment venue. And all kinds of new dining options, too. Phase one of the new development on the west side of the Sky Bridge is expected to open next year. You know, we often get asked about the best places for Smoky Mountain first-time visitors. And our suggestions include the Cades Cove Loop Road, the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail, the Laurel Falls Trail, if you want to hike, and... Klingman's Dome, if you don't mind a climb. On a clear day from there, you can see more than 100 miles. You're not going to be able to see more than 100 miles this weekend. Maybe Friday, especially early in the day. My seven-day forecast for the Smokies has temperatures toasty. We're going up to around 90 degrees on Saturday, and I think the showers and storms will start kicking in with a system moving on to us. Sometime later Saturday afternoon, definitely Saturday night, and on and off on Sunday, and maybe into Monday morning. After that, it looks fairly quiet next Tuesday and Wednesday. Good outdoor days. I feel like a little whitewater rafting is in the forecast for you. Whatever it is this weekend, I hope you have fun, and I hope you'll join us again soon at visitmysmokies.com. 